Hello, you're watching Berita Satu. This is The Perspective and I'm Florence Armin. Today, we are in the presence of a very intelligent, beautiful young woman, Emily Subrata, as the director of Sudamala Resorts. Thank you for coming here. Thank you very and much. And not to mention, she's flying all the way from Bali to just be here with me and share her thoughts on, on, on many things. Now, I hope uh, Ngurah Rai Bali Airport will be open soon for you so that you can me get too. back to all, all, all things at jazz in Bali. So, Emily, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So we're very happy to, to talk to you about Sudamala Resorts, uh, but not just that, but what it does for local culture and mm -hmm. you're trying to revive local culture and traditions through the hospitality industry, which is which I think is, is quite interesting. So do you want to share us a little bit about uh, what exactly you do and what okay. is Sudamala Resorts? Sure. Um, Sudamala Resorts uh, was founded by my father, mm -hmm. Ben Subrata. He's mm -hmm. actually an engineer by background mm -hmm. um, and his main line of business is in energy and infrastructure, so worlds away from hospitality. Okay. Um, but hospitality is his passion, mm -hmm. so this is truly a passion project mm -hmm. and he's dreamt of, of his having his own, running, having his own hotels mm -hmm. for many years. Um, so when it's finally happened, uh, this is truly the manifestation of a dream come true. Mm -hmm. um, and he's also incredibly passionate about local arts um, and the Indonesian culture, yeah. wherever he is. Um, mm -hmm. So for example, we currently have two properties. Mm -hmm. There's Sudamala Suites and Villas in Sanur in mm -hmm. Bali. Bali. Um, Sanur is actually the original preferred the destination. The, is, that, is, is that also your, that's your first uh, Yes, property. the first baby, yeah. so to speak. Okay. Um, so we chose Sanur because it is historically uh, very relevant, mm -hmm. um, incredibly charming. The original preferred destination by foreign travelers back in the of 20s course. up to the 70s, mm -hmm. before mass tourism mm -hmm. came to Bali. Um, and like I mentioned before, a very charming little location, very mm -hmm. relaxed, very laid back. I personally like Sanur. It's yes. where I go and I, I try to avoid any other, but it, that would be my first destination and I'll take it from there. But yeah, really, yeah. And, yeah, and it's also very strategically located. Correct. Um, very close by to Not to too anywhere. far from the airport as well. Absolutely, mm -hmm. half an hour now, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. Blink and you're there, mm -hmm. unlike Jakarta, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and yeah, so the, uh, our first baby is in Sanur. Um, it has 34 keys, mm -hmm. uh, incredibly uh, beautiful, uh, very gorgeous grounds, very art inspired. Mm -hmm. In fact, it has its own art space mm -hmm. and we hold uh, regular exhibitions there. Nice. Our last, year, last one of the year is coming up in December and it's, uh, it's going to be very Balinese, okay. uh, comparing two Kamasan artists okay. or Kamasan inspired artists, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. you know, the, the essence of Balinese art. Mm -hmm. Um, so we, for example, uh, all, our, all our rooms have different doors, different mm -hmm. Balinese doors. Mm -hmm. We have Balinese antique doors everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, the colonial inspired Jogja mm -hmm. um, tehel, you know, right. uh, tiles. tiles. Uh, different in every room, the artworks are different. Um, and so, you know, being uh, being located in Bali and being located in Sanur, which is very artistic in itself, very cultural, um, we have incredible respect for the local culture, and mm -hmm. that's how we show it, mm -hmm. and that's how we we uh, attempt uh, to preserve mm -hmm. uh, the local culture in mm -hmm. that way. So then, our guests, there's there's a lot of uh, art and culture lost in Bali because. Yeah. Um, because it's just because mass tourism that's 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 what it Correct. does um so we we try to do our bit um to preserve what to preserve whatever is this left exactly now. and in lombok which is our second baby we're beachfront there mm -hmm. um and we have uh sasak art okay here. um and uh you know mother of pearls mm -hmm. and, and and they have a similar but different Mm -hmm. um, approach to art mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, the concept there is more the artisans so the people behind it um, but we maintain it so our next one our third project uh, is going to be located just outside of the Komodo National Park right. and no doubt we will also be um, taking inspiration from the local, local culture, culture. And, yeah. but uh, before we venture uh, deeper into Sudamala Resort just going back you did say that your father's uh, rich or oh, he Start, he's from energy and infrastructure, mm -hmm. but it really is it what gives him the knowledge of trying to build an ecosystem out of his property, isn't it? Infrastructure and energy, and yep. how he 
he's able to work that around and make sure the infrastructure supports the main, uh, the main baby there. Yeah. So you think that that also helps in, in making sure that Sudamala Resorts is sustainable? He's, yes, absolutely. <laughs> he is, you know, there, there are some hotels that, um, that work very hard in the first couple of years, milk uh, business out of their property right. and not necessarily put back into it until it's incredibly necessary. Mm -hmm. Well, for mm -hmm. us, you know, because of my father's background as an mm -hmm. engineer, mm -hmm. he's very particular in terms of maintenance. Okay. You know. We'll talk more about Sudamala Resorts with Emily Subrata right here on The Perspective when we come back.